Hello everyone and welcome to a new video from Stratobrain. Uh, as you have seen in the title, today we are going to see about the minimum requirements to enter a German university uh, with Cambridge A-levels or Edexcel A-levels, uh, commonly known as London A-levels. So as usual, follow the screenshot and I will take you through the explanation process. Uh, there is an institution called as Anabin in Germany and this institution is responsible to recognize foreign qualifications to Germany. So we'll first give in in Google and uh, you can select the first link as here. Uh, here the slogan of Anabin is das Infoportal zur ausländischen Bildung Abschlüsse that translates as the information portal to foreign uh, education certificates. There are many categories. If you have done, for example, a bachelor's degree outside of Germany, you can go to uh, Hochschulabschlüsse to see if your bachelor degree is recognized uh, to study a master degree in Germany. But today we are going to see about Cambridge A-Levels. So Cambridge A-Levels is a second higher education certificate that's why you should select the Schulabschlüsse mit Hochschulzugang that means uh, school certificates that allow you to study in a university and under this you should go to suchen that is search in German so the point to be noted here is that uh, Cambridge A levels even if you have done them in Sri Lanka or any other countries the exam syllabus and uh, the exam paper usually originate from the United Kingdom. So it's uh, a UK based exam. So um, if you are selecting your country of uh, secondary high school uh, education, uh, the certificate comes from the UK, from Great Britain. So you should select uh, Großbritannien um, as the country of your Schulabschluss. And then you can go on the advanced level and advanced subsidiary level. And uh, here there are some basic information. The only thing about this Anabin website is that it's totally in German. So um, in worst case, you have to use a tra Google Translator. So there are some basic information which are uh, given here. Uh, you can go under England, Wales, North Irland, Grundvoraussetzung, that means basic requirements. And here we find informations about the requirements to study in Germany if you have taken Cambridge A-Levels uh, in your country. A general Certificate of Education, Advanced Level, Grundvoraussetzung, Basic Requirements. Uh, nachzuweisen sind vier Prüfungsfächer. That means that you have to sit and pass four subjects in your A-Levels, die voneinander unabhängig sein und allgemein bilden. That means the subjects that you take in your A-Levels shouldn't overlap too much. From the four subjects, one of the subjects should be a language subject, uh, at least in AS level, and uh, the other three subjects um, you can choose as you wish. The only thing, it, one of the three subjects should be maths or some other science subjects, such as chemistry, physics or biology. So the two subjects you can uh, choose extra, but one of the subjects should be uh, the given subjects. And then uh, there, there are requirements according to the uh, degree that you want to study in German. Uh, if you want to study science specific subjects, then you should have um, at least two of the uh, following maths, biology, chemistry, physics, if you want science uh, related, uh, like bachelor in biochemistry, bachelor in bioengineering, something like that. Technische und mathematische Studiengänge, that means technical and uh, maths related subjects like electrical engineering, mechanical engineering. You should have um, mathematics uh, and one of the following subjects, uh, biology, chemistry, physics uh, and information. Um, for medical uh, subjects like medicine, pharmacy, dentistry, veterinary, you should have three of the four following maths, biology, chemistry, physics. So here are four subjects I mentioned. You should have at least three if you want to study medicine or something related to that in Germany. The best combination uh, of A-level subject if you want to study medicine is to do biology, chemistry, physics and another AS uh, uh, language. These are some uh, basic informations which are provided in this. Uh, I have uh, searched out another two uh, websites uh, which were provided directly from the University of Cambridge from the examination department uh, from their point of view which subjects uh, are uh, compulsory to get admitted in Germany. So I will uh, put the links of the two uh, websites uh, below the video. You can check it out if you want some more details. 
So this is the information provided from the website Cambridge Assessment International Education, recognition in specific countries and uh, Germany is selected. So one thing to be mentioned is uh, the entry requirements are going to change in 2024. Um, till 2024, the requirements which we saw uh, till now are going to be uh, applicable. That means four subjects, uh, three A-levels, AES and A2 combined, and one language subject in AES. For now, till 2024, there is no minimum grade uh, that you should achieve to uh, apply for a German university. So it means you can even apply if you have four E's, and if there is a place in the university, if, you have, if there is a vacant seat, you will get admission. You can also apply if you have uh, three Ds and uh, one E. So the main thing is that you uh, have a pass in all the four subjects. In 2024, there is going to be a new rule. The change is going to be a little positive and also a little a negative change. So it means the positive side of the change is going to be that you don't need uh, four subjects, you just need three subjects. And the negative part of the change is that uh, just a pass, that means just a E or just a D, is not going to be enough. You should have at least three Cs in any subject combination. So applying with Cambridge International AS and A-level entry requirements until 2024, four independent subjects, three must be A-level standard, that means AS and A2 combined, with pass grade, that means even with the E you can apply. Uh, the choice of subjects must include a language, at least in AS. So this is the requirement till 24, 2024 and after 24 you should have three academic independent subjects at A level with at least C in all three subjects. Uh, A level language is no longer compulsory uh, and uh, mathematics or natural science subjects are only required depending on the study program the student is applying for. That means if you want to study medicine you should uh, have the same subject combinations uh, as I mentioned in the video previously. And if you want to study engineering subject, you should have a certain combinations, including mathematics. Uh, there's another website which I promised you. This is a PDF document. Here you can see the same uh, things that I told you, just in a table format. Until 2023, winter semester and from summer semester 24, the old and the new rules. Uh, the main difference is four A's and A levels must be included. A language subject uh, and uh, one of the science subjects should be there. And in the new one, a language subject is no longer compulsory and all three subjects you should have at least C. There was a question that I received in Instagram from a student. She asked me if it's compulsory to sit all the three A-level or AS subject in one sit or if it's also accepted if she takes two exams in one sit and the next and one subject after six months in the next exam round. So I replied to her that it's not compulsory to take everything in one sit. You can even do the three A-level subjects in one sit and then you can take language for example after six months or if you, even if you missed a subject in one set you can only do the missed subject uh, in the next set yeah if you have any other questions please uh, leave it in the comment section and i will be happy to answer them if you have any questions that you don't want to post openly and uh, want to ask me privately uh, you're welcome to uh, message me in instagram wish you all the best